Could the phenomenon that we're seeing across these training areas, but particularly in places like Arizona, be non-human? I think it's very likely that you have that. I mean, again, going back to the fact that if you have an object that's doing something like the, like even in an image case, where it's going Mach 55, you're talking about some capability way beyond ours. We that's don't doing have that. technology. We don't can... have technology that would withstand that kind of speed. So consequently, what do you have to say? Well, let's see. Could it, when we talk about non-human, and this is where I distinguish it, let me, let me put it to the way. Let's say, for an instance, that you have human technology in the year 3000 that allows you to maneuver back in space and time, and we've advanced in our... And so that, that human comes back in time and in space as reportedly seen in the air. Would you say that that is non-human, even though it had humans aboard? You get where I'm going at, right? So I don't jump to the non-human thing like David did. I go with the fact that we don't have enough information to know on, and we don't understand where the license plate is on the back of the car, where it's coming from, and which state that it belongs to. So in other words, we don't know where the origin is. And it, could it be a us from a future time, and there's arguments to that same effect that you can make about certain cases where that's the case.